Welcome, everybody. Uh, it's my pleasure, uh, and will soon be your pleasure, to have with us Eli Barra y su conjunto. Uh, let me give you a yes, round of applause. And just so that you realize that you're in the presence of true greatness, Eli Barra is uh, known as la reina del acordeón, the queen of the accordion. And uh, the killer criminal, that's what they call her. And the killer criminal, okay, there we go. Uh, she is born and raised in San Antonio. She grew up on Southside Circle 81. She's been playing the accordion since she's a small child. She was self-taught, uh, although her older brother Pedro played the accordion also. Yes. He did not teach her. And uh, her latest album is Bailando con mi amorcito, Dancing with my little sweetheart, my love. She is a Tejano Music Hall of Famer. There's a film being made about her called La Reina del Acordeón, and, or La Vida de la Reina del Acordeón. Um, and just so you have a few other things to know about her, I'm going to read from her profile on Roots World, uh, which is a music website. It says, Ibarra's sense of loyalty to her music and cultural traditions is unquestionable. Starting to play instruments at the age of four, Ibarra was performing professionally in local San Antonio clubs and restaurants by the time she was six. My parents took good care and supported me. I always wanted to play the accordion because I liked the sound, although Ibarra's mother initially worried about the physical consequences to a young girl who was wholeheartedly pushing and pulling on the button accordion. Ibarra's father prophetically sensed that the accordion was her key to success. In 1998, Ibarra's success as a female accordionist led her to a 10-month artist-in-residence position in the ethnomusicology department of the University of Washington, where she taught accordion, bajo sexto, that's the instrument over there. Um, and I lost my place, one second, and the guitarron. Uh, guitarron is the big Mexican bass guitar. Despite radically different climate of the Pacific Northwest, Ibarra found herself endeared to the region and her students, including several female accordionists, even going so far as to write a new composition, Conjunto Space Needle, <laughs> in honor of her experiences in Seattle. And um, one of the things that um, you need to understand about the role that Evi Ibarra has played is, is that there are very, very few leading uh, Tejano Conjunto accordionists who are women. She's a real pioneer in that sense, and she's uh, bringing up others behind her, has been teaching and promoting. It's been a, a pretty much a man's world, uh, except for Evi Ibarra in, in the world of the accordion until very recently. Um, we're also blessed to have with us today uh, De David or David Ibarra playing bass, and we have Arturo Sandoval playing drums, and we have Frank Vidales playing the bajo sexto, uh, which is um, an instrument that is unique to uh, Tejano Conjunto music and uh, uh, Norteña music uh, in Mexico. And without further ado, we're going to let you take us. Where are you going to take us? I'm going to play polka called uh, Atotonico.
When I was very young, a little four years old, owner all the time. And one of the you know the owners said, Hey Eva, you should be playing the the owner, <laughs> not 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 the Gavidelli. Well give me one. <laughs> they give uh, a lot of musicians they play the accordion, they give them accordions and they never give me one. So and Frank and Francis, and you talk with who? Somebody there? Well, it was a representative from the Homer Company. 
stationed out of Virginia or West Virginia somewhere. He came down to the Conjunto Festival and he says, why are you playing that Cabanelli? I mean, there's different kind, different brands. He said, and he represents Honer and he travels all over South America mm -hmm. as a rep. And he says, well, I want to get you a Honer. He got her, I think, three or four different Honers. And they're expensive, they, right? They, they are. Really and, but they, the, the, when they gave me the first the accordion they gave me, they broke into my house and they took it. They took it. Brand new. She lost about twenty or $30,000 worth of equipment, accordion, music, guitars, all kinds. Somebody broke into her house a couple nice. of times. She moved I out miss, of the I miss <laughs> my, 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 my instruments. They were like my kids. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I've never got married. I don't have kids, kids, but I love my instruments. I'm not gonna take them with me when I die, but I can leave them yeah. in museums or give it away. Somebody that needs them, I would not take them with me. Frank, can you tell us about the Bajo Sexto? I think that students may not know very much about that instrument either. Well, the Bajo Sexto is, I don't know when it started, many years ago, just like the accordion, the, the Mexican people that were here around the Alamo time in the 1800s, it was when the Germans came and settled around Fredericksburg and they brought the accordion. And then the people, the indigenous, started copying, mimicking, and they developed their own style, which is what she plays now. And the Bajo Sexto was just a guitar and went to a 12 string. And this is a 10 string here. They call it a uh, quinto, bajo quinto, because it's only five, but it's a double double string in each one. Uh, and it's and not tuned like a regular guitar. No. No, no very different. I, I wanted to ask you something about uh, how, how you play the accordion, or how you, uh, in some way, adapt the accordion to the song you decide to, to, to play. In other words, um, you may be playing music that you like or that you decide to play, and you adapt the accordion. Is that, is that the way in which you work? Or do you use the accordion, uh, who, I mean, all, in, in other words, do you, it's hard for me to explain. And this is a new instrument. This is a, a, a new try. instrument in some ways. It's, it's, it's relatively new, the use of accordion in, 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 in music. In, You're talking about music. the melodies or yeah, the, melodies. the is traditional that stuff? That you, uh, create, adapt, you compose yeah. those, those sections? Like, like if we play, I don't know if I'm going to answer your question. Right. But if you play a traditional music like Viva Seguin, that's traditional. So if I play it, I will play it like a killer. A killer. <laughs> Let's play like uh, the traditional stuff. Start with the bajo sector first and the accordion. G. And then, and then uh, they, uh, we started with uh, bajo accordion and bajo sexto. And then they added uh, the, the bass or up, up, up right bass, right? And then the drums. So here we're gonna do it. Traditional stuff. I'm not here. <laughs> okay, bubble sex only me.
So yeah, I put a lot of chords up there. When she walks in the door, I've heard accordion players say, I bow to her because she's, nobody can play what she was. In that particular accordion, I think you can get three. I think you can get, what, three or four uh, keys. My personal assistant was telling me that she Googled it. No, I don't want to mention this myself. It's better to her if she's over there, if you can talk louder. She's in the world. Go ahead and send me some 10 or 12 in the world. Wow. In the world. Worldwide. That's what's all the Switzerland, Italy, all the way, all the big accordion players come. And in the top 10, 12, she's the only woman. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Besides, uh, besides the years from the Royal, uh, the like Oscar Hernandez, Blanco Jimenez, uh, they, they don't want to perform after her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mingo Sativa, they don't want to go after her. They made an article in, uh, and they, and Ingo Saldiva mentioned this. Say, I'm afraid to play in front of her. Uh. <laughs> well, he's cool. Yeah. And she has a very nice good. He's good. He's good. And Flaco Jimenez in an article, and I have it. They said, Eva Ibarra, uh, uh, 10 times better than Flaco Jimenez. I think he's going to say it. And she also, she only played with one accordion. Most accordions you see have to have three or four yes. since playing different keys. Uh -huh. She doesn't. She only needs one. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. What, what are your, so tell us about you know, your style. How is your style different from, say, what, what Flacco? Because I, I play a lot of inverted chords, inversions, mm -hmm. like this. <laughs> they call it okay. progressive style. Emma, how did you develop that style? How, what inspired you to do your own um, version? Of when I was little, I was like nine, I all the time wanted to play difficult polkas. And I didn't want simple like, uh, I don't like it. That's what she's going to say, she doesn't like it. <laughs> And I started with you with uh, like uh, like. Some people don't like the way I play because it's progressive. They like traditional, but a lot of them recognize the progressive music that they do, like you all. There is a question over here. Sorry, I just have a quick question. How is it that you can play three, like you said that other players need three accordions. How is it that you can play with just They are limited in the chords. They don't want to play in A. Or, or D. 
it's not the same as playing in G or C. Is it more difficult? And more difficult. Okay. More difficult. I don't think Claudio Jimenez played in, in, in A. He, he, one time he told me, wow, you're, there's a lot of chromatics in, in A. <laughs> tell you a story she's uh when it comes to music she's got like a radar inside her ear somewhere <laughs> on a computer we're practicing at her house one night one day and the ice cream truck was running around the neighborhood with the little music and the kids running to the ice cream truck and she was staring at me and she says i think it's in g sharp <laughs> and i said what's in g sharp it's a true story i said what's in g sharp that music out there was that little ice cream truck <laughs> <laughs> she reached over with one hand, the cording was sitting there, and she just picked it up and said, yep, G sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Even the train. The train. Yeah, the train sometimes he's in A minor, sometimes E minor. <laughs> well, I like a lot of the sounds. traditional musicians, they don't have that. They just play the typical. And if it comes to changing a, a tune or a key, take off this accordion, put this accordion on. She's got a model pat on that one accordion. It's not playing the guitar and put the capo trasto, how do you call it in English? Uh, capo? Uh, capo. Capo? Yeah. I don't like that either. Mm -hmm. They play the guitar and they put the... That's not right. Uh. They're shitting there, right? Shitting. Yeah. Different notes yeah. 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 It's the same in the different accordions. Mm -hmm. It's great to play in, in A, they got the other in A. They play it here. So D. Yeah. It's it's, but I, I like to challenge with my accordion, my accordion. But she's also a challenge with her voice. Give them a taste of your voice. Mm -hmm. Por favor. Ah! <laughs> That's all. Ah. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Well, what, what do you want to hear? Uh, one song of uh, the Juan Gabriel? Would you like to hear? Great. Or another one. Or one more. I can do the low hill if you want it right now. Sure. Come on and sing it with me. She sings too. Only when we're out there. You know you won't be.
Y de eso es que no he comido. I haven't eaten. I haven't had breakfast, she said. I need a hamburger. But the here. They call me hamburger. I don't know why. He has a story. Why? What is the story? Right? I used to play out of town a lot, and uh, the other musicians go to the restaurant and eat. They order like a uh, steak or something, you know, and then next day, oh, I'm sick, I'm sick. And I kept on eating hamburgers all the day, all the time. Hamburgers. So I got my name, Nick. They call me Hamburger. Yes. But his name is Arturo Sandoval. The best of the best. And the Bajo Sexto, Frank Vidal is the best of the best. And my brother, David Ibarra. The one I, I like, the way he plays, nobody else. I like the style. I like his yes. style. His chief flower. What does chief flower mean? Spoil. Let's spoil. He's spoiled. Chief flower. Nah, I'm just joking. Now, Juanga. Juanga. Was I going to do this? Como quiera. No. no, no, no. <laughs> let's, let's see, let's see. I'm going to do this for... To you. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Okay. And this is called... Uh, para, in Spanish, ¿para qué me haces llorar? How come you make me cry? You all make me cry? No. You make me happy. I love you all. I love you all. <laughs> That's my public. I'm, I belong to the music and to the public. My, my mom never let me. She never wanted me to be famous. Mom, I belong to you. But more, I belong to the public, Mom. I'm not going to listen to her anymore, I said. That's it. She said, I don't want you to, just play for me, for us. No way, Jose, I said. No way, Mom. What, what are you thinking about? I want to play it for, the, for the people. I want to give, you know, my talent to them. I'm here, yeah, until the day I die. I belong to you.
Thank you. <laughs> I've never heard Juan Gabriel like that. It's amazing. He's just falling down a whole like me. <laughs> He's a very famous uh, Mexican uh, gay singer who has just concerts all over the world. That's and, right. Uh, unfortunately, he fell off the stage at one point, and so that's what the reference is to, uh, to that, so that he was dancing and uh, <laughs> went backwards with the running man, and I don't know what he was doing. And Poor guy. And, uh, uh, but he's, he's composed hundreds and hundreds of songs, and so there's different styles. The best of the best. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you. Eva, tal vez una ranchera? Another other, uh, I think another genre? Right, another What? Like a uh, mariachi style, I can play Paloma Negra. Sure. sure. And it's called in English? Black Dove. But uh, I'm going to sing after this, whenever the Paloma Negra, I'm going to sing uh, You Belong to My Heart. Uh -huh. You all can understand it. <laughs> <laughs>
know, so this is a this is a great opportunity for us to explore some of the topics with a musician here, with us musicians, okay? So please go ahead, don't be shy. I was just curious about um, how much time do you invest in like preparing before a performance or an event? Uh, like practice, or like how many hours do you invest? For for us, a lot of hours, mm -hmm. a lot of practice. They get bored. <laughs> Sometimes they do. But I'm talking about three hours. Four, same song. five, same same. If it was song. a traditional, we don't need practice. But the way she plays it, we need practice. <laughs> <laughs> she challenges all of us. To keep up with her, right? Yeah. You have to yeah. get it right. Yeah. Am I mean? Oh, no. Okay. She just gives us that look when we do something. Question over here. And I get more to my brother. He's great. But because he's my brother, I want him to be. He's bad. He's good. But more. <laughs> and I make it mad so I'm like, sometimes he doesn't get mad, but I get after him a lot more than them. He's my brother. Yeah, yeah. He knows me. Right, Mark? Right, Mark? Questions? Question over here. Uh, which artists and songs did you all grow up listening to? Like, how do you think that affected you? Which uh, style does it have now? Uh, well, uh, Paulino Bernal and Oscar Hernandez, Aldo Lizarde from Italy. I like their style. That's my style, Aldo Lizarde. A lot of chromatic. Yeah, I have an chromatic recording. So I make recordings because it's big. So when I when I record, I I, I do this. I look up. I'm painting like that because it's too big. I need a stand. Uh, the role that music played in the Chicano movement. What are your thoughts on that? Uh huh. What are the, uh, can you the Chicano movement? Chicano movement. Uh, I was in the military those days. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but that was a it was more of a political thing, wasn't it? Going up. Well, the, the, this type of music uh, was evolving as to what it is now. But at that time, the only difference was they were the words. It's, it's like today, they're glorifying the drug dealers and the, you know, all those corridos. In those days, it was politics. Those it was days, the same music. Those days, they, they, the, the accordion sound was not good for the people. It was low, low class. Low class, yeah. Yeah, low class, and that's not right, right? But the lyrics were more the force behind the music, right, during that time, even if the music wasn't was for working class, the lyrics were very much political. Like right, the, the, the yeah. words uh, were related more to what was going on. Like Las Nubes, in, in the uh -huh. film that you all watched, uh, oh, the yeah. song Las Nubes. Oh, yeah. 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 My little Joe? My little Joe, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, it's very much a political song. Yeah, it is. The, the accordion is the, I like the, the sound of the accordion. It's, a, 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 it's happy, it makes you enjoy it, mm -hmm. right? And our dance, yes. or guitar, you know. Why, why do we scream out loud when we're listening to this music? Why have yes. to do this, gritos? So those gritos, or I love the gritos, when they do gritos, they give me more strength. Look like her, over there. <laughs> Sandy can do it. Sandy can do it. So who else can do it?
you can do a variation of gritos or you can do a variation of laments and there's a call and response sometimes with a musician and so it's all part of uh, incorporating the audience into the act and, and making sure that, that they're all in, in tune yeah. right, with, with what is happening. And, and all of it, even if you're not hurting, it'll still, it's part of the performance. It's very much a performance of the music itself. Yeah, it's not like a golf match. Yeah. <laughs> but the, in this, uh, there's a lot of envy, a lot of jealousy. It's like the sports. Sports. Is it sports? The sports. The sports. Yeah, when you see the, the they, they, they get mad. That the je there's a lot of uh, jealous, jealousy and uh, envy and everything. It's the same year. Wow. What, are, what are they jealous of? <laughs> the way she plays. And more of a lady that to be in a leader. A woman, right? They don't want to be led by her, by a lady. They don't listen. But these guys, they, they do listen to me. They listen to me every every arrangement. Every one we play, she always incorporates the audience. It doesn't matter if it's a little quinceañera, birthday, and anniversary. She gets the, the audience involved. One time we played at a, at a place, and she uh, she was playing a, a song where Oh El Rey. Remember the song El Rey? And when she said, which is the king. She went over to the birthday boy and raised, it was like a 60, 70 year old man, raised his hand, El Rey. And his wife looked at him and says, do you know her? <laughs> <laughs> she gets the audience involved. Sometimes, sometimes they slap him. Yeah. <laughs> so, something that you haven't talked about is El Baile, right? All of this music, people would be dancing. Right? Yeah. So can you talk a little bit about the well, role of so dancing? There are different, and, and different, different people. They, some people like more cumbias, some people, other people like more uh, polkas. I like cumbias. Uh, pol you like cumbias yeah. and, pol and polkas and, and uh, shorties, mm -hmm. uh, balses, you know, walls, walls, and they're different. But normally when you perform, people would be dancing, right? Yeah, yes. yeah, and we know what people like. If they don't they start dancing, they say, well, they like the polkas more than boleros, you know, they, right? Yeah. We, we know. If it's an older crowd, they'll take a bolero because it's a lot slower. Yeah. Old people like me. It's pretty good. And there are three kinds of people, and we have to know that. Uh, yeah, the audience. The audience, some people say, she's great. And sometimes I like it, more or less. But the third one is, I don't like it at all. I don't like the way she plays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's three kinds. So, it's okay. I said that criticism is it's good. It please everybody. Yeah, the place is good. <laughs> Any other question? You, uh, go ahead. What specific difficulties did you face as a woman in a non-dominant community? Well, I, 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 I,
What about the recording and uh, recording your music? Uh, has that been also really difficult? But nobody copies me. I don't know why, but my brother okay. says that they cannot do it. I don't know if it's right. You said that wrong? Okay, what did they say? What do you say? They cannot they can, uh, um, copy me. Copy Eva. That's what he said. I don't know, maybe. I wonder why. Maybe. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Too much show, show killers me, here. Show them the jazzy polka and they'll find out why that you cannot be copied. You know, jazzy polka. polka. That is something she wrote. Wow. That's her composition. She wrote it. She yeah. wrote it. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's that'll be great. Let's go to that one. And it's called after her because she's my private investigator. I'm <laughs> 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 my private assistant. Great person on the Personal. And so on. Okay. And it's called uh, Sandy Jess Polka like her. Like it's tall and different like her. <laughs> She's mean, man. We <laughs> gotta keep you on track. Yeah. She thinks she's my daughter. She's not. <laughs> she thinks she's my mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Rancheras, I like uh, Paloma Negra, yeah. Que Te Vaya Bonito. Uh, Amor Eterno, I like it, but uh, it is very sad. As somebody that dies. But uh, all the she time. She plays they, at a lot of funerals, by the way. And I, when they say, You sing it, I want to sing it. <laughs> I'm tired of singing it. It's like singing El Rey. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a very it's sad a, song. It's El Rey. <laughs> much asking for that. We get burned out, you know, sometimes. But we have to sing it. 
they, the, the, the client is asking for, for the songs we have to, you know, sing for them. What about in terms of cumbias? What would be one of your favorite cumbias? Uh, that, that's, uh, and you all have to sing it with me. Mm. It's La Mucura. La Mucura. It's not called La Mucura. <laughs> la Mucura. La mu Can you say La Mucura? La Mucura. Are you? Say it. Y la mucura. You you look like Sandy's daughter. You know, stand up and turn over there. Sandy. Sandy. She'll tell you. I mean, at the end, who? Victoria. You look like Victoria, her daughter. She's twenty. Five. Five. Twenty-five. The same. <laughs> La mucura, and uh, you can say the mucura? No. Yeah, you? Huh? You know what that Over is? Over there? Oh, I want to hear you. It's a water jug. You. Yeah, he has you. You, you, this, you, you. <laughs> say it? La mucura. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and you? 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 <laughs> Huh? <laughs> yeah. Really? It's a water huh? jug from when people used to bring water from the wells really? and carry them across the town. So it's a very old cool song. You see a picture with a jug on top of it. Water on the head. And is it the song Colombia? No, this is from Mexico. Is it Los Panchos? It is Los Panchos. Is it Los Panchos? They wrote it? A very famous video. No, I don't think it's. No? No, no, no. But did you record it? It originates in Colombia, but it's become, it's spread out all over the place. Yeah, it's like uh, dancing rock and roll. Okay. Are they? Okay. Are they? Okay. So you, when, uh, when there's a, a, when we say, Mama no puedo con ella, you all have to say, let's practice this. Mama no puedo con ella. Again, Mama no puedo con ella. I'll give you a cue.
shut up. Any more questions about Alex? Do you only speak in Spanish? Oh, I have one in English, or two or three or four. <laughs> you belong to my heart. Everybody belongs to my heart. Why, why do you sing in Spanish mostly? I grew up, I grew up singing Spanish more. But, genre, I'm not. The genre that she plays is but I have a CD release pretty soon, all English. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your songs or other people's songs? All my songs and other people's songs. Yeah. And one French. And one French. And do you do is that equal also? Yeah. You wanna what do you wanna hear the first uh, Solamente una vez you belong to my heart? Sure. And then the sure. Side. Yeah. Side of the I'm not familiar. Sadiqo music is uh, an Afro uh, Cajun music from Louisiana, Louisiana. And, yeah. but it, there's a lot of, it also features the accordion very prominently and like we were saying, you know, all through the course, it's all these hybrids, all these mixes that go on, right? It's yeah. very, very cool. So there, there's this call, I oh, belong to my heart. English, Spanish you want it or only English? Let's, let's do bilingual. Okay. Uh, okay is, don't. is this your song? This no. Song? No. No, it's somebody else. Solamente una vez. It's uh, Agustin, oh, okay. Agustin Lara. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh.
It's closed by right? You know, the side tones were so they were. Yeah, no, but it's further. It's closed by. Yeah, we, we can send the students information if you all are interested when she's playing and at another event. Uh, we can definitely forward that. You're on Facebook, right? So you yeah. can. They can. Everybody register for Eva Waibara. Why B A R R A? Waibara with a Y. Yeah. I'm with an I. I'm with a Y. Any last minute questions or comments? Then please help us thank. Uh,